Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program and today I'd like to talk about the Black Dog! The Black Dog! And uh, I gotta tell you fuckers, fuck! I gotta tell you, I nearly broke my light. Um, I gotta tell you fuckers, uh, the Black Dog is starting to creep in and uh, I wanted to make this video on mental illness and uh, obviously because I, I suffer from mental illness myself. And I just wanted to explain how I can see this, 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 this cloud looming over. And I gotta tell you, you know, it's, it's, it's what sparks this off. It's normally a chain of events there. So in my own case there, you know, I, uh, I've, I've, uh, I have euphoric highs and really down lows. And it's just a number of things. I could be a little bit short of money which is is the case now i've uh, i've been starting having some weird dreams i start to have some weird dreams uh like i i, I dreamt the other day that i was um i was driving to the airport to catch a plane out and uh, normally i don't drive myself my old man drives me because the parking's so expensive and um etc etc but Anyhow, I was going to the airport, and on the Brisbane River there, that's that brownish river in Brisbane, in Brisbane, and I, I saw this Thai Airways A380, that's the Airbus, the big two-story, you know, sort of the 747 replacement. And I've never been on an A380, but I saw an A380 flying low above the river, and then it landed on the river. And uh, all of a sudden then, instead of being in the car driving to the airport, I was actually in the, uh, the rescue lounge airport terminal when they'd come in. And uh, like this plane had landed on the river. And I'm thinking, you know, this is just, just the weird sort of shit that happens in your brain. And I've had a few other, other things have happened in my life there. I'm just having weird thoughts. I'm feeling extremely anxious, anxious, the anxiety. And uh, part of my depression and, and uh, anxiety and that there, I can't throw things away. So if you have a look at my, my studio, the um, Compact Urban Nihilistics Transmission Studio, you'll actually see it's actually a bit fucking messy because, see, I've got stuff laid out on the floor. You know, I've got I've got work in progress, magazines, I've got scotch that's come in from good people. I got an esky, I got other box of stuff I need to sort out, but it's been there for about six months. Uh, under my other desk, I've got shit underneath there. And over over here, I've got other shit too. Look at this. I've got I got a, a cardboard boxes that have come in. I'm scared to throw these out. I don't know why. I've got another box that I want to throw out. i got an old modem, even though I've changed over to NBN and it's all changed. I don't want to throw these out just in case. So um, I'm starting to get a bit cluster, clustered, clustered in my, my studio here. So I've got to do something about that. And I'm just feeling anxious. And uh, I've tried to medicate this myself. I... Um, I've been doing a bit of dating. I went out with some older women, but you know, and I had another woman. I said, "Hey, let's let's uh, let's catch up again." And she very quickly told me that um, the tickets are expensive. I thought, "Fuck me, dead." What do you think the tickets are expensive for me? What about you know? I'm flying fucking ten thousand kilometers. Anyhow, it was just a brush off. Um, you know, I've just had a few little things that come in. It's not just one thing that makes me depressed or anxious. It's it's a number of little things and uh, just little things spike you off and that there and um, uh, just just a few fucking things start to get you down and uh, before you know it before you know it the anxiety the depression is all set in and uh, I can see you know I can just I can just see it heading that way and uh, I, I gotta tell you you know I'm uh, I gotta tell you, I, I can feel it coming on. I'm feeling extremely anxious. I spoke to a a guy I went to school with. I wouldn't say he's a friend because he was a bit of a prickly fucker. I was sort of friends with him, but anyhow, he told me last night 
he told me last night, I was having a, I rang him, I rang him on Facebook and the internal, he wouldn't give me his number, he gave it, but I rang him on Facebook, haven't spoken to him in years and he's a bit of a, bit of a, an aggressive cunt and he told me, I said, oh, I, I heard you go to Indonesia, he goes to Indonesia a lot, yeah, and he, and he told me, so he said to me, he goes, no, not that I'm anti-gay or anti-anything, but he said to me, I said, oh, you got a girlfriend from India, no, no, any hole that fits. And I said, okay, whatever takes your fancy. Whatever takes your fancy. So, uh, uh, not, not that his sexuality is really anything to do with me, but I just thought, oh, that's a bit off. And, uh, uh, yeah, so I've, I've also, I went out yesterday and had a, had a cigar. I had a nice, I had a nice cigar. I had a nice cigar to try. I just thought, oh, I'll go have a cigar, have a relax. And that didn't really do much. Uh, it helped. It was nice. It was nice. But I'm still feeling incredibly anxious. And uh, then little things pissed me off. My hair was a bit long. So I went out this morning and got a haircut. I'm trying to think, oh, this really shits me off, the long hair. So I, I got that trim. Cheers, fuckers. Just have a little bit of a scotch. So I can feel myself heading towards some black anxiety, depression. So I've just got to make sure every little thing, just little, 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 little fucking things build up, become insurmountable. I'm thinking, oh, I'm just feeling incredibly anxious. Um, I've been let down by a few of the chicks I've gone out with. I've just been used and abused. Females have used and abused me. Uh, 54 asks for money. Naomi told me the tickets were expensive. She didn't even fucking check. She just told me the tickets were expensive. And this other, this other bird, seventy, sorry, sixty-something-year-old woman with breasts of a fifty-four-year-old. She's um, she she's kind of brushed me aside a bit. You know, I'm just not a hundred percent sure on that one either. So I'm just heading into a bit of a dark. Dark place, and I can feel it. I'm just feeling incredibly fucking anxious. Why am I anxious? And uh, I just got a number of little things that are building up, and I don't know. I just feel incredibly anxious. I head, I'm heading in this tunnel, and I've, I've got to try and get out of it. I mean, this is what happens. You don't just suddenly you're depressed, or it's kind of a number of things there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some clear steps there. Uh, I've got some paid reviews. I want to get rid of my backlog. I want all that cleaned up. I'm going to get that done. Uh, I might go and have some nice lunch today. But I can feel myself sliding in to the... Uh, sliding into the, the dark times. So it's kind of hard to explain, but it's... It feels a bit strange. So that's the way it's heading there, fuckers. I don't know, I just feel incredibly anxious. Uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't understand why. I don't understand why at all. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to say anymore. Just, just this anxiety is coming on and uh, I, I kind of feel a bit alone and a bit, bit, uh, I just feel this blackness coming. The black cloud is coming, fuckers. I'm just, just, I can just feel it. I can feel the anxiety levels going up. Just little things tick me off. And, uh, yeah. So that's kind of how it happens with, with the depression and the anxiety and the, it gets all encompassing and it's like a black cloud coming over and I can feel it. I've seen it before. So I'm trying to ward that fucker off. I'm trying to ward that fucking black dog off. So that's, um, that's the way it goes there. It's sort of, uh, the black dog is coming. The black dog is coming. So I'm trying to ward it off at the moment. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any bitches I can ring and, 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 and have a bit of, bit of relief. You know, there's no free relief, Archie. There ain't no free fucking relief, that's for sure. No free relief there. Um... Yeah, I think I might have a little bit of music on. Just take things a bit slower. Try and clean up some of these these things in my room. You know, I just feel a bit very, very anxious. I gotta, I gotta try and do that. I must do that. I must do that. So, um, 
Fuckers, that is that is that is how depression comes in, how it sets in. So the this is this is how you can see a depressing this is how the depressing depression comes in. Just comes in slowly. A lot of little things just fucking nag at you until you finally go insane. So yeah, I'm just telling you now. So uh I'm doing a bit of self medication. I'm gonna be trying to make myself happy. Happy, fuckers, happy. So uh Tell me what you miserable, nasty, brown, vinyl, black dog fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great bit! Treating the depression, the anxiety, the nervousness, well, I've decided to go out for a great meal. A great combo meal. Gone for Vietnamese. So, you know, I think maybe to improve my mental state, it all often starts with a good dish. And I think a really good good dish here could really help out, it could really keep me uh, mean, lean, and uh, I think that might be a good idea. So I've, I've, I've gone down to the local Vietnamese restaurant near the parole office, and uh, I think I'll, I'll have a really nice dish that, that can work wonders, that'll really work wonders. So um, that's the combo deal, fuckers.